This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we take a sneak peek of BMW's latest electric vehicle, the iX SUV. Followed by braking system maintenance and finally revealing the stunning Land Rover Discovery Sport refreshed for 2021. Packed with plenty of technology, style and performance befitting the Kenyan urban adventurer. Catch this and much, much more only on Kazu Big Boy Trev every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. only on KTN Home. Hello and welcome to CBBT News where we give you all the latest news and reviews from across the world. And we start with this item. We know that fuel is extremely high at the moment. Everyone is crying. How can I save fuel? Now I'm going to give you just three tips to ensure that you are able to save on your fuel. Tip number one, be easy on the pedal. So I have this bad habit of driving when I'm, you know, flat out every time, even in traffic, short, short bursts of speed, push, brake, push, stop. That unsettles the vehicle's fuel flow and actually affects your fuel economy. So be careful when you're driving. Just be easy on the vehicle. If you're driving gently, let the car gather momentum easily and the gas will shift easily to the highest gear and you're able to save good amount of fuel. And I've seen that with many drivers. So in traffic and you're waiting for people to stop and then when the lights are you know green and everybody's rushing be easy be calm it's good for your safety so make sure that you're easy on the accelerator tip number two lose the unsprung weight at the back i don't know what people carry at the back you find even suitcases i don't know stuff you know that increases the sprung weight of the vehicle now that affects the power to weight ratio which in turn makes the vehicle struggle to carry that weight which means poor fuel economy. It's extremely important for you to ensure that this particular uh, vehicle has very minimal things at the back to ensure that you're able to save on weight and save on fuel. Tip number three, please make sure that you service your vehicle regularly. Now this is extremely important because even if times are hard, please do not skip that because it affects your fuel economy. And the reason is all those filters get clogged. The spark plugs get worn out and that affects the efficiency, the burning of the engine, the burning of the fuel, the combustion ratio, all these contribute to fuel economy but if you ignore then you start noticing that your vehicle is consuming much more fuel if you're a guy of putting two sock you probably notice that that two sock will be like 100 shillings or less if your person who does 2000 bob per week then you're able to see the decrease in fuel efficiency so it's extremely important for you to note that servicing your vehicle is imperative to ensure that you have good fuel economy now if you do not know the interval please consult your owner's manual it's one of the glove box if not visit your local dealer if you have a land rover defender like this one you can visit inchcape if you have a volkswagen you can go to dt dobby and many others they'll give you the right interval to service your vehicle We have news from Kaitan, who are the official dealers of Hyundai in Kenya and in East Africa. And they actually have amazing offers on some of their brands. So including the Santa Fe, the Tucson, and of course the Quito, which we reviewed on Castle Big Boy Trev. In case you miss, go to our YouTube channel and check it out. And these actually come with amazing offers, actually up to roughly about 20% off on the retail price. So check it out, get absolute value. And of course, they all come with a five-year 100,000 kilometer warranty whichever comes first and you can rely on their servicing across the country with their partner dealerships Finally, we have some news from BMW. Munich have actually unveiled the iX series. The iX400 X Drive is an all electric SUV courtesy of BMW. And it joins the foray where Mercedes Benz, their arc rival, have the EQC series, and of course, Tesla, and of course, Audi with the e tron Quattro system. Now, that leads the charge in as far as electric vehicles are concerned. The trajectory is gaining momentum, and everybody's trying to get into that electric series. Now, what does this vehicle have? Good range. 
200 kilometers of range on full tap and of course that is variable depending on the driving style and how much load you carry you can actually uh, use a fast charging system because apparently these cars you can actually charge it if you're using a fast charger which is a selected system where you have spots where you can charge your vehicle just like your phone when you have a fast charger so the charging time reduces from 0 to 80 percent in roughly three hours and of course if you're using a wall socket or your normal charger from at home probably take you eight to nine hours and of course it's an suv body it's actually based on the x3 x4 platform but now all electric very powerful you do have plenty of power and torque 0 to 100 in roughly five seconds and a top speed of what 143 miles an hour this is pretty fast and you have the benefits of x drive x drive is proprietary technology courtesy of bmw you're able to traverse the bundles and of course you're able to get traction while in wet and slippery surface is it coming to kenya we do not know yet because we do not have the infrastructure but i hand over this idea to kenya power and lighting kenya power you know you're the best people and we rely on you heavily start thinking of investing in electric charging stations you have the capacity power is almost everywhere we can start with the pilot project in nairobi or mombasa or kisumu and we see the uptake and of course the government has already thought about electric cars you have 10 percent off from the duty of the vehicle so please it's time guys let's think let's think forward let's make this momentum gain traction and be able to enjoy the benefits of electric vehicles Guys, it's time for our social media feedback and every day and every time we finish the show, we normally tell you to check us and tell us what you think about the show. And this is the feedback we got from you. Last week, we reviewed the BMW X4 and I can tell you, many people love the show. And we have a guy called Humphrey Kagwe and he says, he's our top fan actually, and he says, BMW X4 is the deal thank you so much i know it's a deal it's quite powerful it looks very imposing and of course i'm sure you enjoyed the review then we have another guy he says yeah robusta mungaya and he says bmw x4 diesel version all the way i can tell you bmw's now to make a thing or two on diesel power and we love that and of course finally we have a guy called nesh josai and he says bmw x4 moto sana that is good feedback and people love the bmw x4 there's a whole community of guys who do love bmws and of course the x4 being one of the best selling suvs right now please check out inchcape of course visit and we're able to give you details on how much that particular vehicle costs you can even ask for a test drive and probably get a discount if you say big boy trev sent me to check out the bmw x4 so that's it keep sending us your thoughts make sure you make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel cbbt underscore tv check out the bmw x4 and send us your comments so guys this is the first step of this particular road trip you've just driven from cape town to a place called langoban which is basically about 120 kilometers away from cape town and gave me time to feel the discovery but before we get into that let's talk about the design well as you know the discovery sport is its second generation and now land rover have enhanced it to give it a much better ride quality feel and of course give absolute value for money so let's start with the design so the subtle change that you can see obviously you can see here is this black pack which translates to this particular part which is a passenger airbag actually for you know when you get knocked over with and of course the grill so the black black pack corresponds as well with the grill so same color you can tell on the higher spec version you do get the led versions and the lights as well as you can see and obviously you can see the subtle changes over here it used to be a big hole now it has a honeycomb grill which also reflects with the color of the grill and of this board over here and of course the rims black pack now from source on this particular launch we only have one derivative of an engine it's the two liter ingenium turbo diesel 180d now this means 132 kilowatts so 180 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque sent to the four wheels courtesy of a nine speed automatic which is very quick and can allow you to explore the full potential of this particular engine let's step inside and see the subtle changes in the car so guys, step inside the cabin of this luxurious Discovery Sport and I can tell you Land Rover have enhanced this particular car in line with Land Rover's strategy of building 
comfortable off-road vehicles that are very very premium let's start with the center console obviously as you can see here you have an elongated touch pro screen which is color and multi-touch and houses a climate control navigation bluetooth connectivity and so many things that are placed in one particular screen one thing in particular that i do like is the sound system in this particular car we're gonna play something small in there ah listen to that Apart from the brilliant Meridian audio sound system, this Touch Pro Duo system actually also supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems, which basically becomes an extension of your phone and makes you productive while driving. You can actually answer calls, respond to emails, send text messages, and of course navigate using the Google Map that comes standard in this particular system. Not only that, you can actually use this functionality and use um, this propriety Land Rover system that allows you to do voice control basically voice control allows you to pre-select certain um, items within the vehicle without taking your hands off the wheel just to ensure that you are very safe while driving this particular land rover discovery sport now moving downwards of course you do have dual zone climate control system that allows the driver and the passenger to pre-select temperature depending on their taste and preference and of course when you're driving down mombasa road or whatever it is that you are you are able to pre-select it and make sure that everybody is very comfortable in the cabin the rear passengers are not being forgotten there are plenty of vents as well you're able to adjust variably the amount of airflow surrounding the vehicle just to make sure that everybody's comfortable in the land rover discovery now moving over to the instrument binnacle that is something that i do love as well you do have a fully uh, digital display that actually uh, makes sure that you're able to see quite a number of interesting things the italics on this particular system is very good because it is visual and you're able to see clearly what the vehicle is doing so on the left hand side you have the speedometer right hand side you have the tachometer and in between you have a monochrome display actually this one is color display that actually um, gives you all the vital information including range temperature what the meridian audio system is doing and of course you do have the capacity to also switch on to maps so you're able to navigate without taking your eyes off the road on the high spec version of this particular vehicle you do have heads up display to ensure that your line of sight is not taken away as you drive this beautiful vehicle along a beautiful kenyan road and that is something that I think Land Rover have thought about it to ensure that this particular vehicle is extremely uh, safe. Bosch ESP, a milestone in the development of active safety systems. By stabilizing vehicles in critical situations, ESP can prevent many accidents. Invented by Bosch, the ESP Electronic Stability Program went into series production in 1995. It is based on the ABS anti-lock braking system, which was developed by Bosch at the end of the 1970s. At sites around the world, Bosch manufactures all the main components of the ESP system. Bosch ESP Generation 9, more compact and powerful and adaptable to any vehicle. Generation 9 of the Bosch Motorcycle ABS has won an award from a leading automobile association. To date, Bosch ESP systems have been installed in more than 75 million passenger cars and light trucks worldwide. ESP can prevent up to 80% of all skidding accidents. And ESP will be the basis for many new and powerful assistance and safety systems in the future as well. Bosch. Invented for life. So guys, it's a beautiful day. We're driving this particular car, the KUV Wonderbolo, where this is a crossover vehicle, mini crossover vehicle, and it fights the likes of the Renault Quid, which is the main competitor in this particular segment. Now, power is uh, derived from a 1.2 liter engine petrol that produces 61 kilowatts and 115 newton meters of torque sent to the front post courtesy of a five speed manual transmission. It is very easy, synchronization. You're able to you know, switch these uh, gears very easily. Now, obviously, when it comes to uh, stability, power, and control, it's very important. Up front, you have McPherson struts, and at the back, you have a training link suspension keeps his car planted on different 
surfaces. Safety wise, you do have anti lock braking system for your active features, and obviously, you do have ESP, which is standard across the range. Now, everyone is making ESP a standard so that you and your family remain safe from harm's way. In case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the multiple airbags on this particular vehicle. You have a sturdy crumple zone, and obviously, you do have a safety cell that dissipates impact energy towards from away from the passenger cell. That's it. Let's talk about the interior of this particular car. The dashboard has been designed to face away from the driver to give an illusion of space and comfort. You do have an uh, interesting texture finish. It looks like carbon fiber uh, finish, the look of it. And obviously, you do have a piano black finish right at the middle of the center console. You do have a console that has a multi-touch display that houses the climate control, radio, and you're able to connect to Bluetooth, your phone, obviously, uh, stream something from USB port and obviously listen to radio. And the system is not too bad, it's not too shabby. Obviously you do talk about space, it's a practical car. It sits five people comfortably. A lot of headroom, which is important. I've noticed Mahinda cars have a lot of uh, headroom. Legroom is fantastic, big boy, as you can see. It's very comfortable, the seats are supportive, and you can drive this car on a day-to-day, -day long distance. And obviously on the instrument binnacle, clear and precise, the Maruti way, you're able to see all the critical elements and the dials light up in a bright crimson hue. There is satellite buttons to control, obviously the navigation system and the telephone, and obviously you do have enough luggage space to carry your veggies, your shopping, your luggage from the market, or if you're traveling uh, for a short uh, vacay, this particular car is the one for you. Ladies, I'm speaking to you. So comfortable, so practical, plenty of cubbyholes and spaces. You do have mirrors on the sun visors as well, and obviously you do have good sitting and viewing angles. It's, it's nippy enough, you can traverse into parkings, you know, you know, fit into tight spaces, and the steering is so light, uh, you're able to control this car very, very easily. Mahindra have actually raised the bar. I'm telling you, I'm in India and I've seen the level of quality, the workmanship, the craftsmanship. I, I can tell you, it is at par with any other uh, OEM, Ford, you know, Toyota, they are up there even maybe surpassing them. I've noticed noise vibration and harshness in all the cars that I've tested today. It's very, very good. Standing out, this is Big Boy Trev, live and direct from Pune in India, something the Mahindra, the UV100. So guys, it's a beautiful day out here at the Western Cape. We are at Langaban, which is not too far away from Cape Town. And I'm sampling the Discovery Sport, the 2020 version. So what makes it different as compared to the first generation? Well, Land Rover have reworked so many things. And as far as ride, handling, comfort, safety are all concerned. And that's important because at this particular uh, market share for the Discovery Sport, the rivals are scaling up in as far as this is concerned. In terms of safety, in terms of style, comfort, technology, it's a very competitive segment. But before we go any further, let's start with the engine. Now, at launch, this particular car has two engines. One, there is a diesel one, and the other is a petrol. But on this particular one, it's a diesel. It's called the 180D. It's a diesel, two liter engine mini that produces 180 horsepower, or 132 kilowatts, with 430 in terms of torque, sent to the four wheel scattercy of a nine speed automatic that is very responsive and very useful because it also has been paired with the terrain response to management system that literally has 12 sensors that scans the road and adjusts the different settings accordingly. Obviously, as you can see, the steering is fantastic. There's a lot of balance and poise in the vehicle. Even on high speed, the steering feels beefed up, which is very important because it makes you feel safer on the road. Now, when it comes to safety, most of the SUV bears are very keen to ensure that their family remains extremely safe. So the Land Rover Discovery Sport comes with a raft of technologies to ensure that you remain safe. So starting with active safety technology, these are the ones that keep you and prevent you from having an accident. So basically, the ESP, Electronic Stability Control, which is the umbrella program that controls aspects like the anti-lock braking system, brake assist, electronic brake force distribution. Then you do have driver assistance systems such as blind spot assist, of course, active and adaptive radar cruise control, ensures that you maintain a steady speed with the cars in front. And not only that, you do have cross-traffic alert, both front and rear, to ensure that you remain safe 
when you're packing in or reversing out of a situation. And in case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the six airbags that comes as standard with this particular vehicle. And of course, you do have a strengthened passenger car cell that is actually Euro 5 star rated and Cup 5 star rated to ensure that you remain safe because impact energy is dissipated away from the passenger cabin and of course to mitigate injury and prevent loss of life which is critically important and not only that we do have um, anchor points which are very important to fasten your child seat to ensure that the baby or the kids under 12 remain safe while in the land rover discovery spot but the question is how good is this particular car let's do value for money Well, that is a sneak peek of the brand new Land Rover Discovery Sport refresh for 2021 with plenty going on for it. Starting with style, amazing style, premiumness, and of course, plenty of technology to boot. Practicality, seven seats for the whole family. Number four, performance to boot both on and off road. And number five, safety and reliability that comes as standard when you're buying a Land Rover Discovery Sport. But the biggest question still remains the value for money preposition so we start with the pricing now this particular vehicle starts from one hundred and eleven thousand dollars and comes with a five-year one fifty thousand kilometer warranty whichever comes first and you can rely on inchcape motors extensive network across the country from nairobi to kisumu to mombasa if you want to buy this particular vehicle and maintain it inchcape have got your back now we do also have Gardex standard which is basically using nano code technology to protect the exterior and the interior of the vehicle to ensure that it maintains its pristine look and feel across the years as you drive and traverse a beautiful country of Kenya but we all know this particular vehicle exists in a space where there's plenty of competition what the key rivals there are two segments so from the mid-size SUV segment you do have the Toyota Fortuna the Ford Everest and the Isuzu MUX but if you're looking at the soft product seven-seater category then the one and only Volkswagen Tiguan comes into play so you have plenty of choice but do you reckon this particular car gives you absolute value for money send us your thoughts as seen on the social media notes below we'll get back to you the feedback next week well it's been an honor thank you so much for joining us on Kazu Big Bird Trev as always it's a pleasure and honor uh, just, in, just before we leave how do you catch Kazu Big Bird Trev after the show well you go straight to YouTube at 7pm and you're able to catch this particular episode and many others that we've done before so click subscribe check it out at 7 p.m. in case you miss it on KTN Home and of course send us your comments and your thoughts on all our social media platforms as seen on the social media handles below. Signing out this is Big Boy Trev. Drive safe and be safe. <laughs>